Hello guys, BJ Emmanuel here from Abstract Graphics. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time of visiting, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful promotional video in KineMaster. This tutorial is going to help you if you want to create a video to promote your business, your brand, um, your channel, whatever it is, but uh, I guarantee it's going to be fun. And this video is in two parts. This is the first part. I'm going to be showing you how to do the first half of this video and then the next half in the past two. So please watch till the end and watch the next part. All right. So without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into the tutorial. But first, intro. Okay, so for the next scene, you are going to pick. We are going to pick a video. Um, cut out the part that you don't need, and just leave the part that you need. And then you add your transition still the dynamic slide, but this time we are adding the number six variation of the um, slide. All right. So then you adjust your layer to make sure that uh, everything is aligned, so that the element from the previous scene is not bleeding into the next scene all right so just adjust them like that as you see in the video all right so the next thing i'm doing right now is i'm duplicating um, the effects i added earlier those glitchy effects so go to your um, layer pick the effects i have it on the screen i have written the names of the effects on the screen anaglyph and wiggle effect pick them and just adjust them as you see fit and to just give it that wiggle you see those wiggle and that glitchy effect um, you can find them in your effects um, um, folder just pick anyone if you don't have it download it okay yeah from the asset store next you're going to pick a background or a shape uh, that rectangle shape as a layer and then you adjust it the way you see it on the screen Now for that video, I want to reduce the um, exposure of the video, so I am reducing the brightness and making sure it's not too bright. So anything I put on the video will be seen. If I put my text, I want my text to be very um, clear and sharp. So that's why I reduced the brightness. So next, I'm going to pick a picture of um, some of the houses that I downloaded from Google, and um, yeah. Firstly, I just added the in animation, and that is the uh, enter slide up. Uh, yeah, so I picked that picture. You can download any picture you want of your product or your company or whatever. Uh, any picture that best um, puts your message out there, you can just download it and, and use. All right, it doesn't have to be this one. Alright, so you just pick up the pictures you want, um, adjust it the way you want it, just like you see on the screen, and then just add your in animation, okay? These are basic things that you already know, alright? So I'm going to pause the video now and just fast it forward a little bit to go through all the necessary uh, uh, steps, right? They are not things that are very difficult, you already know how to do all these things, okay?
Okay, so we've added our images, our titles, and the subtitles. Um, you can add whatever title you want as it best fits your brand and your company or whatever. So the next thing is we're going to our next scene. We're going to pick a video for our next scene. And then we are going to adjust it properly to fit what we the place the exact place that we want it and then cut off the excess so once you're done trimming your video you pick your transition the same um, dynamic slide number two this time and then you adjust your layer according to how you see in the video Uh, and next just as before duplicate the effect layers and adjust appropriately And finally, I'm going to be duplicating all the elements in our first scene and send them to the last scene. Everything in the first scene, I'm duplicating and sending them to the last scene. And that is it, guys. Once you are able to duplicate everything from the um, first scene to the last scene, you don't have to adjust it. You don't have to add anything more. Just adjust as appropriate and um, you are done, right? That's the end of the video duplicate everything from the first scene send them to the last scene and then just adjust it to accommodate your picture or any picture you want to to put there and you are done guys Okay guys, so if you 
have duplicated all the elements from your first scene to the last scene everything should be okay by now add a music background and voila you are done thank you so much guys guys for watching my video um, please if you have not subscribed i beg you to subscribe thank you very much i appreciate it um, turn on the no uh, post notification bell so that when i post a new video you'll be the first to know um, a lot of videos are in the pipeline already that i'm going to be posting so please like share comment and i'll catch you in the next video guys bye bye